Hi friends, it's Diana here today and today I'm super excited to bring you another cool hack. Um, so today we're going to be working on a sleeve hack. Um, I've seen these really cute sleeves where they have like a gather here at the center and then a gather here at the end and it makes them a little blowy. Uh, a little poofy and cute um, they're so trendy in right now and I wanted to make a dress that has those kind of le sleeves sleeves so let me tell you what pattern I'm going to use and let's get started <laughs> All right, so there were two options for me to do this hack with. I thought that this would make a really cute hack to do with a bishop sleeve. I'm going to use a bishop sleeve as my, um, like my, uh, uh, what is it like my base <laughs> that's what it is my base of my pattern and that is what I'm going to use to convert into this sleeve we have two patterns here at Ellie and Mac that would work great with this uh, hack um, we have the cuddle up tunic sleeve um, which is a regular sleeve it goes all the way up in the shoulder it does have a little gather here at the top which would look super cute with this and then I also saw the summer nights rumper has a bishop sleeve but the summer night rumper is an off shoulder uh, pattern so um, um, if you're going to use the uh, summer night uh, romper, it's going to be it's gonna come more off shoulder than it is a whole sleeve. So depending on what pattern you're working with, then you can use this whichever sleeve. But the hack that I'm doing, you would do it to either um, either sleeve because I'm just going to be literally adding some length so I can just add a little bit of elastic at the bottom instead of a cuff, and then some elastic here at like the elbowish area so it can kind of uh, do the effect that I wanted to do. Now this is a two-fold hack. I'm go I said I wanted a dress and the summer night rumper is a rumper or separate. So I'm going to be on this video I'm going to be making the cute sleeve on the top uh, on the bodice and then come next video I'm going to show you how to attach a skirt to it so you can make this into a dress. Now that is super simple as well. So just come uh, watch it with me and see how easy it is to turn even a rumper pattern um, into a dress or um, whatever you want to do. It's so nice to be able to just have patterns that you can mix and match. Um, if you don't have exactly what you want in a pattern, you can make it created by combining all these patterns that we offer you. Super easy, super simple. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut the sleeve just as it is. The only thing I'm going to do differently is see how I have my cuff. I'm not going to be using a cuff. I'm going to be kind of hemming. So I want to add the length of the cuff because I want my sleeve to be long enough. So I'm going to grab this cuff. The cuff ends up being folded in half when it gets sewn on anyway. So this is the actual length that I need to add. I'm going to split my sleeve somewhere in the middle and I'm going to add this length. So I want it to be this much longer. So I'm going to make a cut on my sleeve. And then I'm going to separate it as I'm cutting it out. I'm going to separate it down, adding this extra length right here so that it's going to go straight down, but it's going to be long enough that it'll fit um, my arm correctly. So let me go ahead and cut those two sleeves. I'll cut my bodice. We'll start and then um, well, I'll tell you how I'm going to hack the sleeve. I am using this double brush poly. Um, like I said a couple videos ago, I am already getting started on fall sews uh, for this year. I love fall, it's one of my favorites. So this is like a double brush poly with, um, that looks, it looks like a fall color to me, a solid fall color and I am loving it. And so that's what I am using. So I've got the top of my sleeve here. I've got this, the cuff length is what I'm going to put in the middle. Um, and you can create like a new pattern piece if you want, but you all know me, I just kind of keep going and use the same. Uh, just make sure that you do the same for both sleeves because you're going to be cutting two sleeves that are exactly the same. All right, and here I'm going to grab this ruler and make sure that they kind of, they match up. So it's kind of going to flare out a little bit earlier. If you can see right here, there's like a half an inch here that is not straight. So I'm just kind of flaring out a little bit earlier so that it evens out. All 
All right, so now that I've got my sleeve cut and I've also got my bodice ready, we're gonna work on the bodice in a little bit. But first, we're gonna hack the sleeve like I mentioned earlier. What I wanna do is I want the sleeve to have a gather effect here at the, at the arm, and then also I want it to be gathered here um, with a elastic, a thin elastic. I do not want it to be cuffed, I just want it to be gathered. Um, so there's different ways to do that. Now the easiest way to do it is I'm going to grab first, I'm gonna figure out how low I want to put that first elastic. So I'm gonna go right here where my arm side is, which is this piece right here that goes right underneath my armpit. Um, and we can go ahead and measure about how long you want it from your armpit, like your armpit area, how long down you want it. And really, I only want it down like a few inches, maybe like three or four inches. That's where I'm going to go with my first line. So I'm gonna measure about three inches and go down about, actually let's do four inches. Now, it is up to you. You may do more, lower, or higher. You can see mine when I put it on. You can either um, try it on and see kind of like where it's gonna end up because this is an off the shoulder one. So it goes like this and so I want it like right around here. And then you can go from that and see what you wanna do. So after I figure out exactly where I want that sleeve to hit, we're going to measure um, around that area. So I'm going to measure, and after I measure, I'm going to cut some elastic. Now, I don't want this to be super thick elastic. This fabric is really thin, so I'm probably gonna use like a quarter inch uh, elastic, like that's how the width of it, a quarter inch. And I'm going to cut it up, I'm gonna do two inches smaller than um, my measurements where I want it. Um, I don't want it to be super wide. Um, I, want it, I want it to be kind of snug so it doesn't just slide down. I want it to stay there. So I'm gonna cut it two inches smaller than my measurements and I'm going to do the same for my cuff. Um, the same elastic, I'm gonna do the same for uh, the bottom of the cuff. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to cut the elastic and the elastic around the top is going to be put in differently than the elastic around the waist, the, the, the waistband, the arm, because what I'm going to do is at the bottom, at the arm, I'm gonna create a casing. So I'm basically going to hem it um, and insert the elastic and then when I sew the sides, I'm gonna catch my elastic so it just kinda, it's tight there. Uh, but here at the top, I'm not going to create a casing. All I'm going to do is, well, let me cut the elastic and bring it over here and show you exactly what I'm gonna do and how easy it's going to be. This is a lot easier to do when you have somebody to help you, but I don't, so mine is about a 10. And then, so I'm gonna go about an eight. Actually, I'm gonna do, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do an eight. And then I'm gonna do my wrist, which is where I want my other one. And I'm gonna subtract two from that. Actually, for my wrist, I'm just going to subtract one because I don't want it to be tight on my wrist. So now I've got my bodice. I mean, not my bodice, my sleeve. I'm gonna measure down from the top wherever I want it and I'm gonna do this on the wrong side of the fabric. I'm gonna attach it to the wrong side of the fabric. So I'm grabbing my sleeve, I'm measuring down. Um, you, If you have the other kind of sleeve, the bishop sleeve, you have a rounded top because that's how it's going to sew into the, um, the, uh, the top. But since this is a straight um, off the shoulder, it just goes sewn in straight. It's gonna have elastic around the top. So it's just a different style top. But if you have a regular sleeve, you're doing a different sleeve, you'll have like this rounded. So that doesn't really make a difference. So I'm gonna go down about four inches. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna place my elastic here at the starting four inches. Okay, and then I'm gonna measure my four inches over here and I'm gonna place my elastic here at the end as well. Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna to go to my sewing machine and I'm going to stretch this elastic and do a zigzag stitch over it and that's going to bring my sleeve in like that. It's going to gather it in. So that's what I'm going to do here at the sleeve side. Now at the bottom, at the hem, all I'm going to do is, since I said I was gonna do a quarter inch but I have uh, this uh, half inch elastic that I'm going to use instead. So I'm going to hem it 
three quarter inch up so that my elastic can fit through there. Because then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, when I sew it together, this elastic is going to fit it through first. I'm gonna fit it through that casing and I'm going to, um, when I sew the sides, it's gonna get cut in there. So I'm hemming the bottom of my bodice, uh, sorry, I keep saying bodice, of my sleeve. Uh, half an inch, I mean a quarter, three quarter inch so it can fit my elastic. Whatever elastic you're using, whatever size elastic you're using, you're going to hem about a quarter inch wider so it'll fit in there nicely and it doesn't just, you know, bunch up and doesn't fit. So that's the only thing you're doing depending on what size elastic you're using. If you're using a thinner elastic, you can go a little bit smaller, it's up to you. And then here, we're just gonna stretch and zigzag stitch on. And then our sleeve will be prepped. All we have to do then is sew it onto our bodice and then when we sew the sides together, we'll have, well, let me do this first and then we'll go over the rest. Alright, I'm going to start with the zigzag stitch elastic. I'm going to start right here at the beginning. Actually, let me remove this pin so it doesn't get cut. And then we're going to, like I said, stretch it to fit. You may want to put like a pin, stretch it first, and then put like a pin right here at the middle so you don't have to grab it all the way through. And it's nice and even. All right, so there it is. One cut right there. Now I'm just going to hem the bottom. But let me do the other one, the other elastic first, and then I'll do the bottom. Make sure you're not catching any of the other fabric in there. And now we're just going to hem, and I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same stitch for hemming, the zigzag stitch. All right, so now my sleeve is basically prepped. All we've got to do is insert the little elastic through with a clip or whatever you want to use for that. And then um, we're going to go ahead and attach. Now, obviously different sleeves are attached differently. The other bishop sleeve, you might go ahead and sew the sides first and tack this um, elastic in there as you sew uh, those sides. So like, okay, so here I just pulled it all the way through. Um, it's right there at the edge and I'm going to grab a pin and make sure I hold it there at the edge so then when I sew the sides together, it gets sewn in there. It gets caught in there on those sides. So I'm gonna go all the way and do the same thing on the other side so that when I sew the sides, it's caught in there and it is trapped. You know what I was thinking? You could also use the width of your cuff uh, if you if you wanted to to measure the elastic like if you were making it for someone else and you didn't have their Their precise measurements, but you know, they're a size small then you could use the cuff for the size small uh, To create this little area here. So like I said, you would sew these two together and shut it closed right there and Shut it closed right here as well. And there's your sleeve completed But on this pattern we sew it on first to our top and then we sew our sides So I'm gonna go ahead and sew it up finish it up and then I'll come back and show you what the sleeve itself looks like and then we'll uh, go to the next video and uh, Create uh, the dress. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the sleeve uh, The top how it's supposed to be so you can see how cute this sleeve the sleeve turned out All right, friends, we are done with this part of the hack. I love how the sleeve turned out. I will say, though, that I would have rather this um, elastic be just a little bit lower, maybe a couple of inches. So next time, I'll probably do it at six inches, especially because, you know, I, I sometimes wear it on top of my shoulder. Um, if it's not on top of my shoulder, like if it's down like this, it's 
all right but I think a couple more inches would be better um, so I'm just telling that to you so when you're doing it maybe um, it's up to you if you want to go a little bit lower it's not quite at my elbow so I mean I would have probably liked to go down a couple more inches I could actually put another uh, elastic right here in the like mid between um, and so it would be like a really cute like another bubble here and I think that, that would be super cute so I might do that to change this one a little bit I think that would be adorable the wrist like I said I went down an inch but then I think when I measure my wrist I went tight so and I didn't allow for seam allowance so I'm going to say that just leave it as your what the measurement of your wrist is because you do need a little bit of seam allowance um, when you sew the elastic together and I didn't add that so it's a little bit snug but nothing bad it's not like cutting my circulation off but I do love the look of the sleeve being tapered here and here I think it looks adorable like I said if you use the cuddle up tunic um, sleeve you can do this same effect to an actual sleeve so you can attach it to any other pattern that has a regular sleeve this is an off shoulder sleeve I still need to cut all my strings they're still hanging but anyway but I think it looks adorable so I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial comment like share subscribe let me know what you think of this cute little sleeve hack um, I'm going to go over and start the next video where I'll be showing you how to turn the this romper into a dress so I'm just going to attach uh, the skirt to the bottom of this to turn it into a cute dress now um, if you want to proceed to make it a top go ahead and check out the uh, summer night romper uh, tutorial there is a tutorial on how it can be a top or how it can be a romper so this could be super super cute um so yeah i hope you enjoyed this tutorial comment like share subscribe if you haven't so you never miss any of our tutorials and i'll see you next time bye